In this lesson, we'll learn how to find the norm and distance of vectors based on the inner product. Question one reads, consider the vectors u and v, and they have their x and y components written. With the standard Euclidean inner product, they each have a norm of one, and the distance is the square root of two. In case you're curious what norm is, it is the geometric length of a vector, or the magnitude of a vector, and it's noted with double absolute bars. We're expected to use the weighted Euclidean inner product of u and v, being this expression here, to find the norm of u and v and the distance between them. The first thing that I'll do is try to find the norm of the vector u. And I'll represent it as u with these double absolute bars. And to find this, we use the weighted inner product of u and u. This will be raised to the power of one over two. In other words, we're square rooting the components of u and u after plugging it in to the weighted inner product. If you're confused, we're going to make this equal to the square root of 7 and the components of u, according to this, were 1 and 0. So I'll place 1 and 1 into there, 1 and 1, plus 3 times 0 and 0. So 7 times 1 times 1 is 7. The norm of u is the square root of 7. We have to do the same thing again for v, just like that. And using the weighted Euclidean inner product, we have 7 and 3. That part doesn't change. For v, its components were 0 and 1. So for the x components, we have 0 times 0 plus, and for the y components, they were 1. Don't forget the square root. We end up with the square root of 3. I'll erase this extra equal sign. So they wanted the norms of u and v, and also the distance between these two vectors. To find the distance between these two vectors, we'll use the expression u minus v in double absolutes. So we have the components of u, 1 and 0, minus the components of v, 0 and 1, close. That's equal to 1 minus 0 is 1, and 0 minus 1 is negative 1. So pretend that this is the resultant vector after subtracting the two, and we'll do the same thing as we did here for this resultant vector. Let me make some more room. So I have this part equal to the square root 7 times 1 times 1 plus 3 times negative 1 times negative 1. The answer to the inside part here, the radicand is 10. The square root of that is the distance between u and v. That's the answer to question number one. Let's move on to question two. Find the distance between u and v. Notice that this is in 3D space. We have three components using the Euclidean inner product shown here. So we have to repeat the part on the distance. Let me write this down. Let's make up a brand new vector where we subtract the components of each. 8 minus 3 is 5. Negative 2 minus 5 is negative 7. And 1 minus 0 is 1. That is equal to the square root. We had the weights of 2, 3, and 4. 2, 3, and 4. We'll multiply that by 5 times 5 plus the y components, negative 7 times negative 7 plus, that's a 4, times 1 times 1. So to get the distance, we find the answer for the inside here, the radicand. You should end up with 201, and the square root of that represents the distance between u and v. And there you have it. That is how to find the norm and distance of vectors based on their inner product.